Yeah, my closest relationships with students are with the students um, who I work with in the lab and in the field. You can't help but develop a close relationship um, with a student when you're working that closely with them and on such a regular basis. So mostly what um, I do with students is I specialize in a group of plants called passion flowers and um, they're tropical vines and if you've ever had passion fruit juice it's made from passion flowers and um, what we're trying to do is to contribute to the plant tree of life. Um, so there are many researchers around the world who are all in, interested in constructing a tree of life for all organisms. And there are people who are botanists who are interested, of course, just in the plant tree of life, primarily in the plant tree of life. And so we are contributing a, a small piece of that plant tree of life. Um, but just for this group of organisms called passion flowers. My students do a lot of things. They do, um, the first part of the project was collecting plants, the plants that we need um, for our study, different species of passion flowers that we need for our study, um, and working with uh, local Mexican organizations to also evaluate their conservation status. And so we, um, the first thing that we did as a part of this project was um, take two field trips to Mexico and we collected plants mostly in the southern part of Mexico from say Mexico City South and most of the collection taking place in Chiapas and Oaxaca. And um, so we took students down to Mexico and um, traveled all around and collected as many passion flowers as we possibly could, um, usually working with Mexican collaborators. And then we um, brought that material back to Keene State and um, we take um, small pieces of the leaf material and grind it up, um, extract the DNA, and we target sequencing um, a couple of uh, gene sequences that help us to uncover the evolution of passion flowers. They have gained um, a number of really important laboratories, laboratory skills that they can then put on their CV um, and use to help them get a job or get into graduate school and they've shown that they can engage in long-term research and, um, and they can get grants because I asked them to get their own grants and so they get their own grants and so they show that they're really engaged in the whole scientific research process. I think that's what's most important about what they get out of this and so students have gone on to get a graduate school or to get jobs in biotech and many of the skills that um, that I teach my students are yes we deal with plants but they're easily transferred to any group of organisms including human beings.